The People's Democratic Party, PDP, is in the news again, and not for the best of reasons. The controversy this time uh, is when some members of the National Working Committee wrote to the National Chairman of the party, Senator Yocha Ayu, and informing him of the decision to return the housing allowance paid into the accounts from the party's coffers. The affected members include Taufika Rakpaja, Deputy National Chairman South, Dan Os Obi, National Vice Chairman South, South, Stella Efa Ato, National Woman Leader, and Olasoji Adagmodo, National Vice Chairman Southwest, in their different statement. They alluded to the fact that the party erroneously paid a certain amount into their accounts without stating the purpose. The development came a few days after a media report claimed that members of the PDP NWC were moved over alleged depletion of the 10 billion naira the party made from the sale of nomination forms. River State Governor in some week had also accused Senator Ayu of collecting the sum of 1 billion naira from an unnamed presidential candidate in Lagos. Reporter claimed that Ayu, in a bid to pacify the NWU members, paid the sum of 28 million each to the members. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party has since been reacting to the controversy, saying members of the National Working Committee were not bribed. The party says that this is misleading report, which, according to the party, stemmed from an unfounded publication by a particular media outlet, which suggested that the housing allowance is an entitlement duly approved and paid to all national officials and staff of the party amounted not to a bribe. The party in the statement released by Mr. Debo Olu Umwagba, he says, quote, For the avoidance of doubt, the PDP states in an unequivocal term that no funds were paid into the account of any member of the NWC as a bribe for any purpose whatsoever for that matter. Let's get talking about this, because it's been back and forth. If a sees Mr. Lugman released that statement, some members and leaders of the party say that is not true, that in fact it is a bribe, and that corruption exists in the PDP. A lot of them are now worried about the implication of this, especially when the campaign just got off the ground. Let's get talking about this. I have uh, two gentlemen, um, chieftains of the APC from Port Harcourt, virtually, joins us, Senator Olaka Nwogu. Thank you so much, Senator, for joining us tonight. And here live with me in the Abuja studio is uh, uh, Mr. Mohamed Jamo, is a chieftain of the PDP. Thank you so much for joining us Thank tonight. Thank you, Sean. Let me begin with uh, Senator Nwogu. Give us an understanding. You've seen uh, the reaction of... Uh, the spokesperson of the party he says it doesn't amount to bribe. And uh, I mean, it's frowned at the reasons why some of these NWC members had to write, uh, make public their, their, their letters to the National Assembly Chairman saying that this is a norm, this is just usual, it's for housing allowance. Well, uh, so, well, good evening. Uh, esteemed viewers, this is another twist in this saga of uh, the IU thing. And it's so sad that some of the things we've been trying to put out to the public are coming out by themselves in ways that are very embarrassing. I don't think this is the best thing for our party, and it's coming out at a time when we least need it. Um, Senator Ayosha Ayu, our national chairman, we call that when Governor Yeston Wike gave his media chat, he did say that nearly 14 billion of the party's money is a target for the dogged determination of IU to remain in office. Now, what's emerging is that it's turning out that um, some members of the NWC are saying less than 1 billion of that money remains. And then um, just at the time when people were beginning to ask questions, they see money in their accounts. There was no time the NWC sat to decide that people should be paid those amounts. Whether it was supposed to be loan, they didn't apply for loan, or if it was supposed to be housing grant, they have houses already, they were never told. The quality and caliber of the people who are turning in these letters are not unknown quantities. 
you have the deputy national chairman for the party south who is number three in the national working committee i say number three even though his office is at the same level at that of the deputy national chairman north but for reasons of succession which will usually go north then come down south at the minimum that's number three then you have the um, deputy uh, the vice chairman national chairman vice of south south you have southeast you have southwest you have the assistant national secretary so many of them who are members of the national working committee saying at no time were they aware of any decision they did not participate in any decision they did not agree to give themselves any money the national chairman is approval level the maximum amount you can approve as national chairman of the party is 10 million that of the national secretary is 5 million there is no basis for which the party leadership can decide to award to itself monies that belong to the party. And recall, these were monies that party members paid for forms. These are monies that should go to sponsor the candidates of the party at all levels in the party. This is the money that should lead the party, assist the party to get victory in the next elections. Right. A few persons have decided not just to take it, but to now give to all the members so that they can be worked together they can collectively defend themselves thank god for the heroics and the honesty of these ones who have come out to say these monies are in our account so if they had come here to tell you monies are in the uh, uh, accounts of officials nobody would have believed all right senator now, just just a moment themselves. just a moment let me let's take this issue one after the other there are a lot of questions that has been raised by the event of uh, the transfer of the money and the return of same. L let me allow uh, Mr. Jamu to uh, come in. You heard what the senator said. Yeah. What's your reaction on the, on the state of affairs well, as regarding this alleged bribe, which the party says, no, he's not a, he's not a bribe? Well, Mr. Shaun, uh I think this is the best independence gift that Nigeria has gotten in so many years because we have been clamoring for change and we have been clamoring for change within a change. So at this particular time, the PDP4, because already this is the tag name that Nigerians have given to them, PDP4, the action that they have taken is an action which we will take it with all seriousness. Because if Nigerians at all level, be it at party level, at governmental level, or at any other level of the society strata, find themselves in a situation whereby they just wake up in the morning and they see an alert of some money, which they don't know and they question that amount, and they decided to come forth and say, take back this money and make it public because all activities of political party are supposed to be public like they did and made it public. So this is a cause for celebration. And for the PDP as a party, I think this is what they should take seriously and to even join in celebrating these four distinguished gentlemen. Why? Because in every action, let's say for every procedure that can be taken, any extant procedure, there is an extant uh, action to it. So if these funds were, as the National Organizing Secretary, National Spokesman of the party said, it is a decision that has already been taken. So let them come out for it and bring out vouchers, approvals, where were these approvals made, and bring out vouchers. Because for you to take a decision that is of this quantum amount of money, there is definitely an extant action that has been taken. For you, do you regard. smell a rat in all of these transactions? Well, at this particular junction, I will not say either I smell a rat or I do not smell a rat. But what I will call for is for the PDP at this juncture to come clean. They have my come party. Out, but how, how, clean, how clean do you want them to come? Documents shall come out. Should there be some kind of uh, for independent every, audit? For every extant procedure, there must be extant documents to back up that procedure. So documents in this sense, that the, where the approver where the and approval, the agreement... Minutes of meetings that have been taken, where this decision was taken for this amount of money to be given out as housing allowances. They shall come out to the public. Already the matter is in the public domain. We as a party, 
want to rescue this country. We as a party want to unify this country. We as a party want to save this country Do you from think corruption. That this in some way dent the image of the party in some way? I still stand by my words and statement that I say earlier that the party, the onus of saving the party now allows on the party to come out clean. If the party can be able to come out clean and prove to Nigerians that these things were done normally, then we can clap for the party mm -hmm. and say, wonderful, you are doing the right thing. So for now, I leave it as it is now that the party really needs to come out and save itself If your party first. does not say anything further, more than what is said today, do you think that uh, it raises a big question mark on the uh, financial fidelity or the corruption stance of your party or anti-corruption stance of your party? If the party does not take any action, then we will be left with no any other option than to find a way that we can get independent investigators to look at this matter and make Nigeria. Is this good aware. for your party going into an election? Well, when within the National Working Committee, some people are saying, Take back the money. You, I, don't, I don't deserve this money. This money is not supposed to come to me. Doesn't need to raise a big question because yesterday, Senator Dino Melayo, who speaks for your presidential candidate, said on this program that your party is going to fight corruption and the candidate is going to fight corruption. So when these kind of things happen, the allegation of bribery on the leadership of your party, does it not speak another thing? entirely from what your presidential candidate says he's going to do. That's why, Sherwin, I'm still telling you that I'm seeing this from the positive light of it. The party now you has the you greatest... You're to see it as a positive... Positive, positive. Po yeah, positive light of it. Not thinking that uh, uh, if money came from someone, it's a negative also. No, let me, tell you, saying, let, no let, let, let me tell you why I'm telling you that I'm seeing it from the positive light of it. Mm -hmm. As a political party mm -hmm. that wants to save Nigeria, this is the time that the party can show to the world that it can save itself first before going out to save right. Nigeria. Let me bring back Senator uh, Ngogo. Give us an understanding. So uh, you heard what uh, Mr. Jamoa said. Uh, so th the question is, there are another question mark and a lot of questions that have been raised in this matter. And one of it is, if you say this uh, PDP NWC4, they return the money and written the letter. If you say that oh, we did not discuss any money, there is no way moment where we had a conversation about uh, allowances and it just came into our account. The question is, how did the account get public? Your personal account, how did it get into the hands of those who sent the money? Isn't that another uh, question mark that causes uh, pe people to say, what exactly is going on in your party? Well, so first, I, I, I don't know how we react to things, but I'm outraged. I am very, very outraged. I'm embarrassed as a member of our party that this is happening at this time. We truly, truly hope that we are setting out to save Nigeria and to turn a new page and to do those things that will move our country forward. And this is embarrassing, and it's squarely at the desk of the national chairman. He's leading a party. It's not the PDP that's in issue here. It's the leadership of our party. It's the NWC that is in issue here. And it's the national chairman who, I think this was like a response. Remember when Governor Wike said, they have 14 billion, they are, going, they, they are targeting that money. So what happens next? They know that people are going to ask, where is the money? That money is to support the party through the elections, support all our candidates, support all our structures. So the next thing they did was to make sure there's unity within the NWC. And then people's accounts were quickly credited. So uh, salaries are paid through account. So the account numbers of these members are with the party. The party leadership has the account number of all these leaders. They paid money into the accounts. If those people were party to a decision to take money, they will not speak out. It is the press that discovered these payments, and then it was published that people were being paid, and then people came out to say, yes, I've checked my account, I've seen this money. I am a member of the National Working Committee. We never agreed to pay this money. We never applied for any rent. We never applied for any facility. Some of them have houses in Abuja. They never asked for this. They suddenly found these monies. It would have been entrapment if they did not find the courage to come out and speak out 
they will today be defending and probably lying that no monies were paid out. I think the national chairman should apologize to the party, apologize to Nigerians, and him and all those with him who are involved in this should resign their offices and say they will, this will never happen. We can, there's no other name to call this. You are embarrassing our party, you're embarrassing our nation. Today we are the main opposition party, and we want to tell the ruling party that we can do things differently. How can we do this? By what face can we look at Nigerians and defend the payment of 28 million naira to each member of the uh, National Working Committee? It, there's no precedent to it. There is no time in our history that all people took this kind of money. There were no applications. There were no processing. The organ that should approve such a thing will have been neck because beyond a certain threshold, you have to take procurement to neck. This never went to neck. Or if any neck member participated in this, they let them come out and say they, they approve this. People must learn to respect due process. There are thresholds for things that you preside over the money for 10 billion or 10 billion as the case may be, does not mean you have a right to pay yourself anything that you choose. And what they have done today is an embarrassment to us all. I think the decent thing, and I'm sure the, the, uh, the publicity secretary of our party is defending it. Let him tell us he too has collected the money. And let him tell us that he has a right to keep that money in his account. That money that party people contributed, he has a right to keep it because he's the publicity secretary of our party. But this is an embarrassment to come. All right. Let me come back to uh, Mr. Jamo. Um, uh, so there has been call for the sack or remover or stepping aside of Senator Yocha Ayu. Could this situation or this very incident uh, heighten that uh, kind of uh, atmosphere where uh, leaders of the party are divided uh, on whether Ayu must go? Well, I have made myself positive. Uh, I have said my mind on the issue of Iocha Ayu. Even the last time I was here, guest here, Mr. Iocha Ayu needs to go. And my reasons why I keep saying Mr. Iocha Ayu has to go. Today in Nigeria, we have four major political parties. Before these four major political parties emerged, what we had were two political parties. The two other political parties were a creation of the incapacity of Mr. Iocha Ayu as the chairman of the PDP. Because under his watch, we lost Mr. Peter Obi. Under his watch, we lost Engineer Rabi Musa Kwankoso, which if he has managed this party properly well, Mr. Obi is in PDP, Mr. Konkoso, Rabi Konkoso is in the PDP by now, it will have been a walkover election for us. But now we have these two forces to contend with. And then this again today. After we have talked about the issue of imbalance, whereby we are having candidates, we are having, we are having the northern uh, part of the country having the presidential candidate, while the south has been left with nothing. And we have always been clamoring that there must be justice in this party. Let me tell you one thing, Shewan, that I love so much, and I always love quoting it. It is a verse, a verse from the Quran. In Surat al-Nisa, this verse, when you go to Harvard University, you will find it pasted on their wall. It says, O oh, ye who believe, stand firmly for justice, even against your parents, your kith, or your kin. So wherever you see the issue of justice and fair play comes into play, you must stand firmly for it. We are having the southern part of the country with nothing and they have been clamoring, give us the national chairman of the party, which has always been what the PDP has always done. The presidential candidate from one part of the country and the chairman from the other part of the country. Mr. Ayu offered to step us out. On moral ground, we have always been asking him, comply with what you have said. And he has not stepped aside. And today, we are faced with this issue of monetary matters an issue whereby a deputy national chairman and two zonal chairmen with the woman leader of the party saying funds you have given, it, given to us are questionable funds. We don't know anything about this money. How much of our right. can we continue to be having? Mm. Won't he give us a chance so we can form a government? All right, let me go back to uh, Senator Nwogu. Give us an understanding because there are those who also ask the question, that something fishy is going on here. The four people 
uh, that have returned this money, uh, sent a signal of returning the money, they're from the same region. Um, ostensibly, they are uh, on the weak side of the divide in this whole PDP internal struggle. Um, uh, those who say no, this is just um, a machination against the leadership of the party uh, because of the rift or the internal problems the party is facing, and that, well, there is, is an orchestrated and designed move to dent the image of the Senator Yocha Ayu led NWC. Well, um, I think the Deputy National Secretary is doing the same thing. I don't know which faction he is in. I also know that the um, Deputy uh, National Vice Chairman Southeast is doing the same thing. I don't know which session of the, um, of the camps he is. It's not about camp. And even if all of them were supposed to be supporters of Wiki, that does not invalidate a bad act. What is an issue here is they didn't pay themselves. The party leadership paid them. And they are saying they never discussed this. They are embarrassed by those monies. We must encourage those who speak out and call out corruption. If people do not want to participate in corruption, then you begin to give them names. They belong to Wiki's camp. I think Wiki should be proud if it is his own people that are saying this is not right. We don't want to be part of corruption. Because I don't think anybody should want to say the other people are my camp. Nobody should want to own a you at this moment. You don't want to own what is going on. You know the, okay, reason, those, you know the reason why people will raise this matter? Um, there is a very popular saying uh, in my part of the country, where, uh, and it's a proverb in Yoruba language, which says, and literally uh, uh, interpret it into English, literally, it's a, a witch uh, uh, cried in the night and uh, in the morning, a child dies. Um, that there is a reason for all of this is happening, when all of this is happening. In fact, I'm very sure that you have heard the allegation that those who returned the money were offered three times the money to return the money they were paid. And that's the reason, and this is just the, a political maneuvering within your party. There, there, you see, there's nothing worse than this line of thought, that people speak out against corruption, and then they are put in this kind of place, that they were offered money to return, to not be corrupt. Then, this is almost like we are glamorizing corruption. We don't want to call out theft. Rather, what we want to do is ask who, call, who, who exposed the theft. So we want to analyze the character, content, and nature of those who call that the theft. Has money been taken out of our uh, party purse? Has it been put in people's accounts that people who don't deserve the money? Have we found out that the people who put that money did not have the right to have done so? Have, should we not even check for that? The other, the quiet National Working Committee members, is it not enough, a good reason for us to ask all of them to show? that they did not benefit from this fund, are they entitled to it? Uh, I can tell you they are not we're, we're out of time. Let me allow Mr. Jamal's final thought on this one. What's your what view? I mean, what's the way forward? Because this does not help your party in any way, either positively the way you see it or negatively. What's the way forward, just in 30 seconds? The way see? forward is for the People's Democratic Party, the largest party in Africa, to find a way of coming clean with all these matters. It's a very simple matter. Like I said in the beginning, extant procedure comes with extant documentation. If, like the national spokesman of the party said, this is legal what they have done, let them be able to bring out documents right. to back the legality All of right. this. With that, we can be able to survive this scandal. As thank a you so much, uh, Mr. Jamo, for joining us tonight, as well as Senator Olaka and Wogo. Thank you so much indeed for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.